Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. First of all, I would like to thank you very much for all of you to give me a chance to be as a part of the fourth international conference on biophysical technology in dentistry three as um presenter and for this opportunity i would like to presentation my case report about management of representation with interdental wiring arch bar fixation for the dental alveolar factor with a portion of anterior maxillary well ladies and gentlemen uh, as an uh, introduction of, uh, for our presentations we know that the uh, maxillofacial injury is the one of the injuries with the high incidence the most common maxillofacial injury is a dental injury with an incident rate about the 5 till 16 percent of all injuries dental injury can be defined as an injury or trauma that damage the teeth and parental including the surrounding tissue lips tongue or and jawbone uh, its uh, dental injury can occur at a young age or adult and it's caused by accident or uh, during exercise and uh, some types of a dental injury which commonly found are luxations uh, also we call it mobility uh, tooth or rock fracture and uh, also avulsion uh, what the avulsion avulsion is a complete removal of the third from the socket by the match of the parental ligament and still leaving of your parental fiber in the cementum and on the alveolar bond i think uh, it's a simple uh, it's a clearly definition about the avulsion and as we know that the Prognosis of uh, a fusion is depend on uh, immediate treatment and representation is the best management for this condition. Well, uh, talking about the uh, management of dental occlusion, uh, we have uh, two choices. We can save it or we can leave it. Uh, but I think as a dentist, we should or we have to uh, what we have to save the tooth as long as possible and we if we have to choose the uh, save it save it the tooth during dental implantation is our the best favorite or the most i think management of dental avulsion of course it's doing with the splinting and uh, there are many kinds of dental splinting uh, for example a rigid splinting semi-rigid splinting and flexible splinting and uh, also we have to uh, pay attention about the duration of splinting because it will affect uh, the success of the representation procedure Well, ladies and gentlemen, this case of uh, it's a case report we're talking about patients uh, has a motorcycle accident, and uh, there are two of her front of uh, teeth detached uh, or removed, but the only or just one tooth that patient found because it's still on her mouth. And uh, and then a family uh, keep it or put it the third on a dry storage. It's about uh, one hour prior to admissions. And from the general status status examination, we found that uh, all of the uh, general status patient is normal uh, respiration rate blood pressure and also her rate is uh, normal from the extra oral examination we see that there is any abrasion or excoriation first at radio mentale or chin area and uh, at labium superior or upper lip and labium inferior sinistra or uh, lower lip at uh, left side And then, uh, intraoral examination, we can see that uh, any evolution of uh, teeth uh, 
one one and two one also subluxation or mobility of the uh, lateral incisor and Geneva we see that any blood clot at the radial uh, central incisor and the laceration at the uh, radial uh, right central incisor also at the uh, lip we see that any laceration uh, at the radio uh, labium inferior sinistra or lower lip uh, left side. And then we do the oral pan tomograph x ray or panoramic x ray. At this examination, we see that there, we, there are any uh, edentulus at the radio central incisor at the right side and left side. And according all of the result of our examination, the patient was diagnosed with the dental alveolar fracture at radio anterior maxilla with a function of teeth 1, 1, and 2, 1. And the treatment of this case is the first a wound debridement and then hectic fullness laceration. After that, we do the representation of a uh, one wound and then uh, fix the representation with interdental wiring erich ash bar under local anesthesia. At this slide, uh, we can see steps of the treatment that we've been done of this case. This picture show the result of our treatment. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after the entire procedure is complete, the patient then is allowed to go home. But after that, we give the medication and a suggestion. And the medication is giving uh, sevadroxyl, ibuprofen, and dexamethasone. Uh, the suggestion or instruction is a uh, soft diet uh, avoid to use front upper teeth, oral hygiene instruction by using the toothbrush with the soft bristle and mouthwash and a routine control uh, also root canal treatment for tooth 1-1 well however unfortunately because the patient has a financial problem and uh, living outside of the city uh, she come to control after 11 weeks uh, from uh, first treatment. Well, ladies and gentlemen, in this session, we have to know that dental replantation as a gold standard for dental evolution, but before the replantation procedure, there are many several considerations that must be considered because it's a uh, fact of the successful of Representation and the time is as a primary consideration of our treatment. Uh, also, we have to realize that uh, this procedure needs our skill because the representation also uh, company with the fixation a splinting technique. So we should have this skill to do this. There are many factors affect on the plantation uh, successfully. The first is time, uh, second is storage media, uh, the condition of the adjacent soft and hard tissue, uh, how the sprinting technique we choose, duration of the sprinting, and instruction post operation. If we're talking about the time, uh, it means uh, how long the tooth are outside or displaced or removed from the socket. And according to Anderson, uh, that uh, delayed representation and extra oral duration had an impact on the success of representation. And in this case, the patient uh, didn't soak the uh, first tooth for less than 60 minutes and it was tolerated with assumption that the parental ligament could still be saved for successful representation even without their prior endodontic treatment. 
and about the media storage there are many kind of media storage uh, we we can found that uh, first it's hand balance cell solution it's a uh, something like a salt a solution but it's uh, fabricated and then a saline solution and uh, milk also saliva saliva it means that the the teeth uh, still uh, keep it uh, on the uh, patient mouth and in this case the patient do this uh, do this uh, media choose this media storage the other factor affect the successful of fragmentation is how the condition of adjacent tissue and uh, about the sprinting technique that we chose. Uh, talking about the adjacent tissue, we have to check, we have to examination, there are any laceration and or a loss of alveolar bone. In this case, patient has uh, any laceration at the gingiva and uh, at the lip, I also has a uh, loss of uh, alveolar processes bone at radio anterior maxilla and uh, there are many uh, sprinting techniques that we can choose uh, for uh, representation uh, first is a uh, flexible uh, sprinting semi-rigid sprinting and right rigid sprinting at this slide we can see uh, there are many kinds of flexible splinting that we can use in our practice for example the resin composites and also we can combine with the using uh, wire orthodontic and fixed with the wire uh, fixed with the composite resin and uh, we have to know that the flexible uh, splinting it's a uh, most often recommendation because the result of the study show that it was stabilized uh, a low incident of uh, ankylosis and uh, a flexible splint allows for functional movement of the teeth uh, and it's uh, easy to easy to uh, to do the flexible splinting uh, especially for a young uh, patient or uncooperating patient this is a kind of uh, semi-rigid splinting and one of the most famous uh, this uh, semi-rigid splinting is using uh, orthodontic racket. This is a kind of rigid splinting. There are any uh, titanium splint and uh, erich arch bar. And uh, why we choose the rigid splinting of this case because uh, of uh, any alveolar uh, processes fracture of the fusion tooth so that we have to maximize the healing of alveolar processes and we have to uh, immobilization of the tooth and bones over a period about the four to eight weeks uh, was uh, required uh, for the best uh, alveolar bone healing. The other factor of uh, the successful of representation is about duration of a uh, fixation uh, splinting, and uh, according of International Association and Dental Traumatology, the duration of splinting is just about the two weeks by using a flexible splint. But if we associate with the alveolar fracture, the splinting duration can be extend about four till eight weeks by using a uh, rigid fixation. Uh, so we can get uh, we, we we can reach the best uh, healing process. And uh, at this case, uh, we 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 need to immobilize it until uh, eight, eight weeks because uh, the, the, there are any fracture of alveolar uh, bone processes. And, uh, and then uh, given the instruction post operation uh, for the patient is uh, one of the most things, uh, the, the, the harm treatment for the patient. It's a really 
affect the the successful of our treatment and there are uh, there are many instruction uh, post operation that has been uh, mentioned at our uh, reference uh, there are any oral hygiene instruction uh, soft diet uh, toothbrush by uh, using soft brush avoiding a sport activity or any excessive uh, exercise uh, taking a uh, antibiotic systemic to avoid uh, infection and uh, mouthwash and uh, of course uh, doing the root canal treatment after uh, one till two weeks uh, after the, the treatment well ladies and gentlemen according of international association of dental traumatology steps of representation procedure if the time of operation is less than 60 minutes as follow uh, the first tooth preparation uh, given a local anesthesia uh, remove debris or necrotic prodental ligament remove coagulum uh, from the socket with the saline and examine the alveolar socket with the saline irrigation Reposition of alveolar bone fragment, management of a laceration by suturing the laceration, and then obtain slowly with a slight digital pressure and, of course, uh, occlusal adjust or occlusal check. After the tooth was at the right position at the socket, we have to stabilize with the splint and uh, then uh, after all the procedure is done. We give uh, or we take the administer systemic antibiotic, mouthwash, and of, of course, instruction uh, post treatment for the patients. And all of these procedures uh, we've been done in our treatment of this case. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as a conclusion in my presentation is uh, first that we have to uh, consider all the factors that affect of the success of our representation. And when the representation uh, was indicated, we have to do it uh, as soon as possible, uh, never, never delay to do the representations and of course uh, we have to give an uh, instruction uh, post uh, treatment for the patient as adjunctive treatment because it's also uh, impact uh, of the successful of our representations well ladies and gentlemen this is the end of my presentation i hope this uh, case report is useful for our daily uh, activity and uh, i hope uh, it can uh, help us to make the decision when we we, we, we found this case or a fortune case in our practice okay thank you very much for your attention and assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh